Hi. This is the first time probably in a hundred years that the Virginia City engine has been under live steam. It's been about 13 months since Greg Johnson so graciously allowed me to have the privilege of restoring this beautifully made, very early American steam engine. We call it the Virginia City engine because Greg found it about 30 years ago in Virginia City in a mining junkyard in a very dilapidated uh, condition. Greg put it into preservation, kept it all these years. It's been a wonderful journey to have gone through this engine and put it back together so we can enjoy what we're seeing now. We believe the engine dates anywhere from about 1865 to the 1870s perhaps. It's hard to say, we don't know who the maker is. It is very similar to a Globe Ironworks engine made in Stockton, California which we have an example of a larger one remaining here in California. It's an early box bed engine, long stroke, three inch bore by six inch stroke. Half inch diameter connecting rod. Two cast iron piston rings. Slow speed engine, long stroke. Let's see if we can get in here and show you how some of these components work in harmony. The governor is a one half inch five bronze bodied Judson. I had to make the Governor Drive police for it. And I'll go over here to the other side. Sorry I'm so shaky. My knees aren't what they used to be. The eccentric and rod was missing from this engine as well as the outboard bearing which we were able to duplicate by studying examples from earlier steam engines. It's got a very interesting slide bar arrangement on it uh, with some incredible workmanship in the bronze shoes that hold them in place simply by the way they're machined wedges, angles geometry, angles, geometry, all working together to hold those in place. And packing glands are early pattern. Nickel silver cylinder cladding. Has a very early star hydrostatic lubricator lubricating the cylinder here and I think that the clicking and clacking we hear is the uh, piston rings and probably the slide valve clicking back and forth between its adjustments adjustment nuts and we leave this engine here we go over to its power source, which is an early Chinese laundry steam boiler which was 
very graciously given to me by Larry Snow. Thank you, Larry. As you can see, I did good on it. And uh, we completely went through this boiler. An engineer friend of mine spent a lot of hours running calculations on the boiler shell, rivets, end plates. And with a set of ultrasonic readings that I had taken here, he calculated this boiler working pressure and we found that the boiler was very restorable so it was retubed 2 inch diameter 11 gauge boiler tubes the smoke box was made recycled from an old hot water tank and as you can see this engine is running very happily on 20 PSI and I have a safety valve set to blow at 35 And Joe gave me a max, maximum allowable working pressure of 60 PSI. Greg Johnson, whom I received the engine from, also provided all the old style, old pattern steam valves, fittings, a brand new old stock Lunkenheimer water gauge with a very early patent date on it and this mess down here is a small plunger pump for the secondary boiler feed it's not hooked up in the video it should be but the water pressure here in my town is 65 psi the safety valve is set off to blow off to set up uh, is set to blow off at 35 and the engine is running at 20 so I can turn this water valve on and domestic water pressure will fill this boiler when the water level falls where it needs water it has a gas burner for the heat source you can see the uh, gas valve, there's an orifice and mixing chamber in that little setup right there. The burner roar is what you hear in the background. It all works very nicely. I thank Joe Michaels for running the calculations on this boiler, as well as Joe Keith and several other people that took their time to teach me how to roll in tubes, how to bead tubes. There's a lot. There's an awful lot you have to know when you're restoring a small steam boiler. You don't want to take any chances. Everything needs to be done according to sound engineering practice, laws, and common sense. There's an awful lot to do with it. Beautiful running little steam setup. This boiler is going to work perfectly for all intents and purposes and will serve me well. Here is a an overall view of my steam plant in action.
best dog whistle in town. <laughs> and then we go over here and Yes, I know. I need to put the testing lever back on top of the safety valve. This is just the first test. Thanks, Greg, for this great engine. It really is a lovely thing. And Larry, you gave me a great boiler. Thanks. And all the other people that helped me with this, I deeply give you my thanks. I appreciate all the help. So, that's the first run of the Virginia City engine. On live steam. I hope you've enjoyed this video.